Hello, we're here today with James Williams, the director of Gulliver's Travels, which is coming to Watford Palace Theatre next week. Hi, James. Hello. Um, okay, so first thing I wanted to ask you about was why did you choose this play, Gulliver's Travels? Uh, it's been a favourite of mine ever since I read it at university and I was particularly intrigued because I'd known of it as a children's book and then read Swift's original novel and couldn't believe quite how, um, how amazing that the, the actual novel was in its uh, political comment, uh, in its humour, in its rudeness uh, at times <laughs> and I, I really fell in love with the story and really wanted to kind of bring the original story to, st to a stage and so ever since since then I've really looked to tell it as a story and I found I came across Fahana Sheikh's adaptation which was originally performed by the London Bubble Theatre across uh, four different South London parks and in each park they performed in various locations and uh, I immediately saw the potential of, of that adaptation to be performed within a theatre and approached uh, James Button who's a fantastic designer that worked with me on Grim Tales approached James to create a design that could bring these four different locations and this promenade piece of theatre uh, and bring it together to be a really exciting piece on our stage. Brilliant, thanks. So would you say that you've approached this adaptation? Well, Fahan has given us a fantastic device to start with, which is uh, that the play is told through an 18th century theatre, travelling theatre troupe, who meet a squire. And that's a fantastic forum for us to explore some of the politics of the time, the tensions between the rich and the poor, uh, all of the uh, battles with France uh, and issues with the French that the English had at the time. And so that, that's a fantastic way in which we've explored as a company some of the politics of the time and also had great fun with performing the play within the play and the actors having an awful, uh, awful lot of fun telling the story on stage as actors telling, telling the, the, the story of Gulliver's Travels. Um, I've also heard that there's going to be a lot of live music and puppetry. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, certainly. There's a number of songs and a lot and lot of opportunity for uh, storytelling through music. So we approached Hertfordshire Music Service some time ago to work with some of the county's youth orchestras, which we've done before on previous projects such as um, Grim Tales and uh, Great Expectations. So it was fantastic to, to work with, uh, in this case, five musicians who play live throughout the show. And we've also been working with the BBC Concert Orchestra and Patrick Bailey, who worked with us on Hello Mr Capello, and is again working with us on this project. And he's uh, run a few workshops with the musicians and guided the musicians who have uh, themselves composed, arranged all of the music that is played throughout the show and done a fantastic job of not only performing it to a high standard but creating that music, shaping that music for the production. And alongside that there's also been the puppets. Uh, Helen Coyston, who was our designer on The Arsonist, has been uh, working with James Button, the designer on this show, to design puppets and uh, the actors have been working with those, with Helen, in rehearsals, bringing them to life. Um, it's obviously a, 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 an obvious way you can create big and little uh, <laughs> within the play in order to get the Lilliputians and the big Gulliver and then when Gulliver goes to Brobding now to get those, um, that, that sense of different scale. Although there are a few surprises uh, in stores, so we don't just rely on puppetry, there are a few, <laughs> few hidden surprises. Ooh, okay. Well, thank you very much. It's been great talking to you. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say? No, that's fantastic. Come and see it. It's going to be amazing. Great. Thanks, James.